we just arrived at uh, one of the parties here in Cannes, a company called Captify. It's, uh, it's interesting to me because it's run by two really young guys who've made it really big. They're based out of London. Really cool guys, we're gonna meet one of them later. Let's go take a look. We're a little bit late, so everybody's a bit drunk, but it's a good time, good place to network. And this is what it looks like when you make it with, you know, to doing business with the big companies, with the big boys. It's just a lot of fun working with really smart people and we like to have fun as well. founders of Captify, one of the hosts of this whole party. Um, it's an interesting thing because he was willing to talk to us, but then he found out that he has to, or he found out, he had to ask his marketing department if he was allowed to talk with us, because they're not a self-funded company like us. Uh, they have investors, they have, you know, they have to be careful with their image, and uh, they weren't allowed to talk to us, and I understand why, but it's just an interesting point because that's one of the beautiful things of being self-funded is that you can do whatever the hell you want and that's something I will never lose and that's something I tell everybody who starts their own business is go for as long as you can without any investors money without selling any shares of your company because it's the most rewarding thing is owning it all and deciding what you doing what you want to do and not what someone else tells you to do and that's the reason you start in the first place so never lose that and Although they're still, you know, they still have a great company. They've lost some of their freedoms. Uh, the party's amazing. Uh, the guys are really amazing. Adam, I actually met, you know, tying into the previous episode. I met him at a at a conference by accident. Having it was in Germany. We're buying sausages for lunch and having beers. And I met him. I just talked to, just talked to him, and we ended, I ended up being one of his uh, clients. And I didn't even have a company back then. And this was six or seven years ago, and now things come around and we're going to be partnering up uh, Volume and Captify. So it's just really interesting how, you know, just these uh, random networking coincidences sometimes blossom over the years into a very fruitful relationship. So that's another reason just to go to conferences and put yourself out there because you never know what's going to happen. And hopefully, I, this is one of the best ad tech parties, ad, advertising technology, ad tech. One of the best ad tech parties I've ever been to, and hopefully next year we can host something similar. Volume. Maybe more girls. Oh, I love this song. Push you in. That's it. <laughs> One of the one of the things that I get uh, asked a lot since I launched the vlog is that uh, some people tell me that the vlogs all are entertaining, funny or whatever, nice to watch. But where is the real knowledge that we can use to create our own business? Let me tell you, you know, there's there's no recipe for that. There is no golden key that I have unlocked that I can now replicate and share with all of you. All I can tell you is about you know how to overcome what is known as the struggle. It's difficult. It's f***ing difficult. It's, you have to make the craziest sacrifices, things you never even thought of. You know, when you're in school, you think that's the hardest point of your life. But when you start your own business, you realize that was the easiest point in your life. One of the more specific questions I get is, Rob, where do I get the money to start my own business? I don't know. You have to, you know, at that point, if you're asking me that, ask yourself, do you really want it bad enough to sell your car, to sell your home, to risk everything you have to start your business? You know, ask yourself, do you, are you a smoker? Do you drink? Do you party? Count all that money that you spend in a year and put it aside. 
you know, there's so many things you can do. You can get a job at a corporation, save that money for a year and then invest it in your business. You can get a second job. You know, there's 18 hours in a day you can be working, but you choose not to because you don't want it bad enough. So ask yourself, how badly do you want it? But Rob, you had a wealthy family. Yeah, is, are you looking for an excuse not to do, you know, not to do you know, I was working for 18 hours a day for almost two years. It cost me my health. People don't really, you know, I don't need to talk about it, but that's what I have to do to, to get where I am today. Just ask yourself, how bad do you want it? And then follow up with the questions of what do I have to do to save up enough capital to do, to, to, you know, launch the first business that I think is something that I'm relatively passionate about. And that's the question. It gets me a little bit upset because some people seem to hold me against the wall and be like shaking me, waiting for that key to fall out, that, that you know, that recipe for success. There is no recipe for success. It's all within you. And that, at the same time, that's the most beautiful thing because it is all within you. Nobody else, nothing else dictates whether you or not you do it except yourself. So, there you go. That's, that's what it is. We're at the Apex Soiree, another networking event. Um, but it's so loud here, uh, I think we need to go to the beach. Let's go. Uh, Want to go down there? There. So, okay, I think you can hear me better here. So we're at the App Nexus Soiree. Um, App Nexus is one of the biggest uh, ad advertising companies in the world. Actually, they serve 16 billion ads every single day. Uh, they've just filed for an IPO, um, and their approximate valuation is around two billion dollars. They're based out of New York. We're going to be actually integrating with them with volume. So it's very exciting. I'm, I met the managing director for Europe just earlier. So this is what you know. This whole Can uh, Lions Festival is about. It's meeting the the executives and making you know the bigger deals just over here we have uh, I think it's closed now but we have Pinterest so every big company has like a beach party um, we walked by Spotify Twitter YouTube Beach um, yeah over here we have Pinterest I don't really know what Pinterest is apparently they're valued at 12 billion all these companies I think if you added it all up it's just like hundreds of billions of dollars of market cap uh, uh, just along this whole beach I mean there's tens of millions of dollars are spent on these on these parties and these events and it's just amazing to be here I mean look, look at this yachts out there uh, just so inspirational to be surrounded you know a small Polish company that's in the midst of these you know American and inter multinational giants it's so exciting you're like the underdog that's trying to uh, to make its way to the top and that's what drives me is a sense of insurgency and that's why I love being here and one deal one meeting can cover you know tenfold hundredfold all these expenses this is why people do it this is why these companies are big in the first place is because they understood the same thing that we did is that showing yourself you know internationally is the only way to make it big meeting people face to face, these, you know, sometimes seemingly random interactions turn into most profitable sort of events in your business's history. So that's why we're here and we're going back. We're going back right now. Jello wants to show us his magic trick. He's been learning this for how many years now? About 17 at least. 17 years. <laughs> Doesn't that's always wake up. Hold on. Oh! Party and we're going to, uh, to a yacht party where there's going to be T-Pain. T-Pain, I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Let's go. Tells everybody that he's on a boat, everybody's on a boat. It's gonna be like T Seption. Everybody on a boat. Oh, oh, oh. 
man of such strawberry injection. One day, this is one of the few media outlets that I really respect and I hope one day they're gonna write about us. A small company out of Poland that made it to the top. Well, let's go now. We're in the port now. We're gonna try to hit the T-Pain party. We're actually looking for Gary V's boat. He's somewhere here, Vaynerchuk Media. I sent him an email seeing if we can meet. It's unlikely, but worth a try. I think it's somewhere over here. He's actually, he's, he's a very special guy to me because at a very low point in my life, I watched one of his videos, it popped up on my feed, and he gave three, like he gave a few words of advice to someone, he said, you're going to die, and somehow that really hit home with me, and it's just such a simple way of motivating yourself, is reminding yourself that your days are numbered, I every day remind myself that I have around 50,000 days of life left, and it just gets my ass out of bed, it gets me going every single day, regardless of what my mood is, so I owe that to Gary, so I love it. Last year we actually considered getting one of these boats, um, but I think it's too early, you know, it's a hit or miss. If you get a boat and nobody wants to come to your party, there's so many parties, you end up with an empty yacht, and it's bad for your image, so it's a delicate thing. And, uh, so probably instead of a boat, we'll probably get like a villa next year. Um, we're here. What do you want to do? So yeah, you know, I think next year we're gonna be in the position where everybody's gonna be wanting to come to us. I guess you come from, you change from, uh, from beggar to chooser. That's like, that's the thing, that's the aim. You're the beggar, you're here, you're like the small, you know, the underdog, the small fish, and you're trying to mingle with the big fish. And then, with time, all of a sudden, you're the big fish. You're choosing who to meet with, and that's an exciting part of your career, because, you know, it, it's not about, like, being above anyone. It's just, like, it's a good position to be in in business. It's choosing who you want to meet with, who comes to your parties, who's your client, and all, all that shit. So, let's get back. Huh? Yeah, it is him. It's a helicopter. Holy shit. What the hell? This is insane. What's happening? It's, I think it's a skydiver. He's going to launch the opening of the party. What? That was incredible, man. <laughs> We're here on the boat now. Um, so exciting to be here, you know? I feel like I'm representing Poland and just, you know, someone trying to break through the mold of defining what's possible because I don't see any obstacles. So for me, they're just challenges. Like, we're here like meeting with the executives, the owners of these big companies and, and uh, it's ironic being on a boat where t Payne's going to be here in a second singing I'm on a boat bitch, I'm on a boat bitch Anyway, that'll be exciting, I'm going to try to film that and it's just, it's just a blessing to be here, it feels like a dream and I feel like I'm just so lucky to be in, to have found myself in this position to be uh, redefining what's possible for so many young people out there because it is possible. Just put yourself out there and I never thought I'd get here but here I am now and uh, filming myself on this big ass boat, T-Pain, the summer below me, he's going to be singing on the deck below. Skydiver just came out of the sky, I think he just got arrested, they didn't get permission here so he's, he just got arrested. It's crazy. Yeah. So I'm here alone because our cameraman didn't get on the boat. 
So I'm gonna try to. We'll see how good I'm. Uh, you know, videography. Maybe I'm terrible, but I'm gonna try. You know, for anyone from Poland out there watching, like we are, we're such a talented nation. We have so much potential that's unused. And, you know, remember what I said in the last episode in Berlin? Don't listen to the media. They're. Their goal is so basic, it's to sell magazines and newspapers, you know? I'm out here proudly, I love saying that I'm from Poland, They're like, where's your company based from? Poland. People are shocked, because it's just unheard of. There's so much potential, there's so many more businesses to be out of Poland, being at the show, being at the other shows that I go to. I don't want to see that change. I want you guys to start thinking big, going to the conferences, like I said. You know, Can Lions is a bit different. Like, for me, it's a, it's a shock because it's just, it's just a giant party for like a week. Uh, so much money here that it makes me feel so small, but I like it. I like feeling like the underdog. So I'm just happy to be here. It's so beautiful here. It just takes your brain to a whole nother level thinking of what's really possible, what is attainable. Like, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I will be the next Polish unicorn. And, uh, I will be uh, proudly representing Poland because that's where my heart is. And that's, that's where it always will be. Stay tuned, I'm gonna to try to catch T-Pain in a bit. All right, T-Pain is here. It's time. Let's get everybody to the work you bring in and then to the end of the audience. Hey! Hey! Let's do this together. Hey! Let's do this Sing it! You can do it all by yourself. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me buy you a drink. I'm deep pain. Keep on me. I'm deep in the deep end.